Hi, it's Pam Trigolo, and welcome to another edition of The Food Lady. Happy New Year. It's a new year, and that means a new South Florida Fair. You know, I'm such a kid when it comes to the fair, and I'm going to have sneak peeks into everything that makes the fair so special this year. You won't want to miss a second of it. And of course, I'm going to wine and dine you all over Palm Beach County and the Treasure Coast. You're going to meet some great chefs. You're going to cook with me in the kitchen, and you're going to see the best restaurants in the entire Palm Beach County. You won't want to miss a second of today's Food Lady. It's time to indulge in the very best of Italy at Cafe Sapori in West Palm Beach. Specializing in recipes and wines from the southern and northern regions of Italy, Cafe Sapori will tempt you with dishes that are both traditional and modern. When it comes to pizzas and pasta, it all starts from scratch. Ravioli filled with spinach and ricotta are topped with a delicate sage butter sauce and crispy parsnips. And even something as simple as linguine with clams takes on an elegant flair with the flavors of lemon and garlic. The fresh fish, meat, and chicken dishes at Cafe Sapori are outstanding too. All right, I'm here with uh, co-owner and chef Fabrizio Giorgi, and you're gonna teach me how to make a specialty of the house, right? Yes, today we're gonna have a rabbit. Coniglio alla ligore, and then a rabbit crocetta. To make this recipe, we're gonna use a lot of wine. Okay. And then with all uh, the leftover from the meats, we're just gonna make like a croquette, so we're not gonna waste anything on the rabbit. All right, Pam, it's ready. This looks absolutely yeah. breathtaking. We have a coniglio alla ligure, like I say, with olives and a lot of white wine, so we use the gavi. And then with all uh, the rest of the, the rabbits, after we cook, we make like rabbit croquettes, we have some crispy artichoke, and we finish with this uh, yellow mustard with some buca. Well, that looks absolutely stunning. I am so looking forward to trying this with you. Along with their great food, you'll also love the ambiance at Cafe Sapori. Come dress smart casual and relax at the bar or enjoy indoor and outdoor dining. Co-owner and manager Francesco Blanco, maitre di Paolo and staff will make sure you feel at home and want to come back again and again and again. Cafe Sapori in West Palm Beach, taking fine Italian dining to new heights. If you're looking for a trendy place to eat, you know, something that will really tempt your taste buds, the Palm Beach Post and Wellington Magazine say Surrey West in Wellington is the place to be. While Surrey is known for their tempting tapas year round, they also feature special dining menus during different days of the week that are far from ordinary. Wednesday Asado Nights offer a true all-you-can-eat Argentinian barbecue, complete with flank steak and baby back ribs, barbecue chicken, and authentic chorizo. Thursdays at Surrey West is Italian night, and owner Bunny Pata takes over the kitchen to bring you a seven-course Italiano feast, from antipasto to pasta and homemade meatballs to desserts. Sunday is the hottest new all-you-can-eat brunch buffet, perfect with a sparkling mimosa or Bloody Mary. Now, Bunny, you've added yet another great night here at Surrey West. What's going on? Yes, tonight is Friday night. It is our prime rib carving station night. Oh, wow. It is all you can eat. It comes with a potato, vegetable, and salad. And of course, Chef Carves right here in front of you. And don't forget, folks, they also have great concerts out here, too. You've got tribute bands, you've got original artists. So you want to check out their website, and that would be? SurreyRestaurant.com. And don't forget, if you're headed east towards the ocean, Surrey East in downtown Lake Worth has the most delicious and innovative tapas. And be sure to call Bunny if you're interested in having a party catered. Their catering facility here at Surrey West is huge, and they have a smaller one downtown in Lake Worth. 
and I guarantee no matter when or why you come to Surrey East or West, you'll have the best time and tastes of your life. Surrey East and Surrey West, spoil yourself tonight. We are back with a very special guest, Rick Vimlatil, the president of the South Florida Fair. Thanks for having me, Pam. It's that time again. You know you're going, but this year you're really going to want to go again and again and again because it's parade time. Parades at the South Florida Fair. Our theme this year, Pam, is magical parades. Get your beads on. So we got to get you started right <laughs> All here. All right, we got it. Last year, everybody loved the Mardi Gras parade. That was like a huge success. So now you're going to have 17 different days of parades? We are. Everybody loves a parade, so our team got together and we're going to feature a different parade almost every day of the fair, starting with the Chinese New Year Parade on oh. opening day of the fair. Why, you ask? Yeah, why? Because one of our featured acts are the Peking acrobats all the way from China. They are a fabulous act. They've appeared at the fair before. Very, very popular and unbelievably talented, energetic, and flexible. You guys, you have to check them out. They are truly, truly incredible. They've been on television too. These are the real deal. They are the real deal. We've got a football parade. We've got a St. Patty's Day parade. We've got a <laughs> boat parade. What? There's no the water. Fairgrounds. No water at the fairgrounds. So I can't wait to see what our team does with that one. I can't imagine. Well, we know we're going to have to talk about food a little bit too, because a lot of these themes that you're talking about have food components. You betcha. So when we come back in just a little bit, we're going to talk food at the fair. And trust me, you want to save your Appetite. Today, people are eating healthier than ever before, and you don't have to sacrifice taste for good eating. And you could do so in a place that's got a really cool laid-back surfer vibe. That's the motto of Joe Clark, chef owner of Joe Bistro in West Palm Beach, which is quickly emerging as a star in the healthy but delicious eating category. Morning, noon, and night, you can eat in or take out fresh squeezed juices like the Gojo Green, Code Red, or a shot of apple, ginger, and lemon for your health. Their new paninis are incredible, like the spinach, mushroom, tomato, and Swiss with garlic herb oil. Now, Megan is making my absolute favorite acai bowl. The Aloha bowl. Oh my gosh. Now, if I want to be healthy, this is the way I'm going to do it. All right, we've got in here coconut, we've got in here pineapple, strawberries, what else? There's chia seeds, hemp seeds, bananas, blueberries, hemp and flax granola, and of course, the organic acai. Frozen acai is the bomb. Hey, and don't forget they're open for dinner too. Check out jobistro.com. If you've ever driven by the corner of Forest Hill Boulevard and Dixie Highway, you no doubt have seen the line at the pickup window morning, noon, night, even overnight. As if being open 24 hours a day with a full menu isn't accommodating enough, they also cater. You can call and pick it up or have it delivered for a party of two to hundreds. All right, I'm kind of cheating a little bit today, not with Ricky, <laughs> with cooking. You see, I'm not cooking, but I'm gonna take all of these things, I'm gonna heat them up in these beautiful pans that you put them in for me, and then when they're nice and warm, I'm gonna put them into my dishes and tell everybody I made the food. No, I won't. She could safe with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What do we have got here? This is so wonderful. These are appetizers? Yes, so we have uh, Madikita chips with mojo, mm -hmm. some assorted flavors of empanadas, homemade as well, with the chimichurri oh, sauce. Right. Uh, cumin sandwiches cut into little pieces, and we also have the garlic shrimp. And for our main entrees? Okay, so we have the imperial rice, which you love. We also have white rice and black beans. We have some ropa vieja, which is the shredded beef, and also another favorite with is a lechon asado. That's the roast pork. Oh, yeah, it's very good. Oh, it is so tender. I mean, just melts in your mouth. Everything looks and smells perfect.
If you love watching The Food Lady, then you probably love dining out. Well, have I got just the thing for you. Log on to localdines.com. You'll find some of the restaurants you're watching today and hundreds more. You can look up menus, photos, and purchase dining certificates at up to 70% off. You'll help support local restaurants and save money at the same time. Log on now. Oh, wait, no, wait till after the show. Ever since we launched our TV program, everyone has been saying, Pam, you have to go to Fort Pierce. Downtown, there's this awesome place called the Cake Lady. So I think it's about time the Food Lady met the Cake Lady. The Food Lady meets the Cake Lady. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you. What are you doing? I am working on a baby shower cake. We're making some fondant pearls. Now you do baby showers, you do weddings. Actually, she has known the world over for her wedding cakes. They are so incredible and they taste even more amazing than they look, if that's possible. Now you were so fantastic that you actually got asked to be on the Food Network. It was called Cake Hunters. Cake Hunters. And I saw it actually live, the first episode, but you can see it in a rerun, so you definitely have to check that out. But wedding cakes, Halloween cakes, feel better cakes, any holiday you've Holidays, got a cake for. anniversaries, birthdays, yeah. And if you could dream up something in your own mind, she could make it happen and fond it and Buttercream and ice malt and gum paste and, and chocolate. And it's going to taste really, really good too. <laughs> You're going to love these cakes too because they taste just as good as they look. Is your business one of the area's finest in food, dining, entertainment, events, or hospitality? Would your business benefit from being featured up close and personal every week on broadcast TV? Then you need to be a part of the Food Lady TV show. Log on to our website at pamthefoodlady.com and discover the many ways you can star on our program. Or give us a call today at 561-585-8668. The Food Lady. Local TV never tasted this good. The Food Lady continues with Rick Vimlitel, president of the South Florida Fair, and you can't talk fair without talking food. The number one reason people come to the fair, Pam. I actually food. have to diet for like three weeks prior to it because I want to make sure that I eat all of that ooey gooey goodness. And we've got it for you this year. Every year there's something new. There's a new food item I heard from the tater tots. Th there guys. is. We had a new vendor last year that served tater tots uh, <laughs> uh, uh, with just about anything you wanted on them. This year, he's coming back to us with a hash brown bomb. Oh my goodness. Which is a sandwich made from hash brown patties with whatever you want on the inside. Philly <laughs> cheese steak, beef, chicken. <laughs> and I can tell you, I was a big fan of the tater tots last year, so I can't wait for the hash brown sandwich. Oh, I am so looking forward to that. We're talking serious. Now also, last year's theme, we had the whole Mardi Gras thing going. And one of my favorite things of the Mardi Gras is the king cake. Oh yeah. Now I heard there's a deep fried king cake coming. If you're not familiar with king cake, it is a New Orleans tradition, yeah. but it's not deep fried in New Orleans. We've got, of course, the theme of the whole thing is parades this yes. year. So yes. You're gonna have 17 days of different parades. Correct. And you're gonna have a lot of foods that will accompany some of those themes, like Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest, we're gonna have uh, German sausages that day and who knows what else. Last year, in conjunction with the New Orleans theme, we had a New Orleans food court and it was the most popular food area of the fair. So three of the vendors are coming back. Uh, Louisiana Grill, the crepe guy, um, Ooh, who was really good. Those were good. And the purple shrimp, which is actually a local business. Yep. It came out to the fair and just did huge business with their wonderful shrimp concoction with a nice little spicy sauce. All right, well, sounds good to me. Yeah. We're gonna be talking more South Florida Fair in just a few minutes, so stay with us. Worth says Shayla PCA in Palm Beach has the most amazing foie gras mac and cheese. I'm gonna go see if she's right. Mm -hmm. 
Jeff Lauren, how are you? Hey, how are you doing? I am so excited to be here. You know, we have a loyal viewer in the Lake Worth area who says you have the most amazing foie gras mac and cheese. I think I'm gonna have to try it out. I, I think so. How do you make it? What's your secret? Okay. So first of all, the most important thing is the foie gras. So we're gonna use that one that we're gonna cook with the cream, fresh cream. For the cheese, we use three kinds of cheese. So of uh, for me, I, I'm using the, the um, pecorino cheese. Uh, we have a three years old uh, cheddar cheese and we finish it with Swiss cheese because of the texture of the Swiss cheese. It's gonna melt and it's gonna bring everything together and it looks like creamy. For the pasta, we, we're gonna use today the uh, orecchiette, but you can do it with penne or any kind of pasta that you, you prefer. We're gonna finish it with some uh, chive and black pepper. All right, well, let's get cooking. So here we have the foie gras mac and cheese from Chili PC in Palm Beach. Oh my goodness. Now remember, this isn't your children's mac and cheese. This is the adult version here. Amazing. The foie gras, it's like right at the top of my palate and then that cheesy goodness comes right through the bottom. Oh, I give this four thumbs up. If I had four thumbs, <laughs> I would give it four thumbs up. Wonderful, thank you. Great, thank you. If you love watching The Food Lady, then you probably love dining out. Well, have I got just the thing for you. Log on to localdines.com. You'll find some of the restaurants you're watching today and hundreds more. You can look up menus, photos, and purchase dining certificates at up to 70% off. You'll help support local restaurants and save money at the same time. Log on now. Oh, wait, no, wait till after the show. Hey, it's Pam Triello, the food lady, and we are in the kitchen, in my kitchen to be specific, and I have with me a very special guest, Chef Jim Furchie. Now you foodies locally, you know this guy. You know you've seen him out at those gorgeous Swank Farms dinner parties, right? Oh, Swank is a great place for a dinner party. We're doing 18 events this year, you can't miss it. They're just great. If you also want to see me, you can see me at the new Garlic Fest location in Lake Worth John Prince Park this year. Oh man. That's coming up in February. Next month, it's gonna be beautiful. It's a bigger and better celebration. I know, it's really wonderful in Lake Worth. You know, oh. I'm a little biased, yeah. but you know, I won't say anything. But anyway, you, you also might see this face and you wonder, I've seen him, I've seen him on TV, Pam, not just at those events. Yeah, you have, because he just wrapped up his first season with Robin Leach and Kim Alexis on the greatest new show on Food Network and the Cooking Channel, and it's called Food Quest, right? Food Quest with Robin Leach, I've been blessed. I was lucky enough to get onto the show, it's great. Sundays and Tuesdays on the Cooking Channel, and Fridays on the Food Network, so I that mean. awesome. Our know. local boy, I'm so local proud boy. of you. you know, thank now, you so much, I'm Now blessed. you're making lamb, and I see you got your chef's foot on, so I don't wanna, you know. I don't want to be a slacker come on, here. Come on, we're going to do right. some pistachio crusting, so All right. we, we might get some I on I think you. you're going to get some on me, so I'm ready. All right, I'm ready. So we're actually <laughs> very simple. I want to take intimidation out of lamb at home. We got some great little chops here from the rib, and we're going to do a quick sear on them. When they're done, we're going to come back and finish them with some mustard pistachio crust, and we're going to finish them in the oven for five to seven minutes at like 400. Perfect inside. We're actually going to go with an Israeli couscous with apricots and a little mint lemon zest and some juice. We want to lighten up these flavors that we have. We have some big, bold flavors with the spinach and the feta. So that's going to cut that fat down. It's going to clean your palate nice, and it's going to taste great. Here we go. Hold on, small bites. Taste Never test. take big bites on TV. <laughs> Here we go. I'm about to break that rule. Mm -hmm. oh, that's really good. Good, tender, good enough? Like melt in your mouth tender. Quick and easy. We banged through this recipe, 15, 20 minutes. It was fantastic. I'm so proud of you too. Good luck on your new show. That's so exciting. On the Food Network and the Cooking Channel, Chef Jim Furchie. Cheers, my friend. And thank you so much for having me, and the best of luck for you on this show. I watch it every week. Thank it's you. great for local talent and chefs. We get to see what other chefs are doing in the community, so that's a great thing. Thank you, my friend. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Cheers. Salud.
The Food Lady continues with Rick Vimlito, the president of the South Florida Fair. Everybody loves to go to the fair. They love to go on the rides. I know I personally do. And I love to go eat everything that's in sight. I yes. like to go to the concerts. Who's going to be there this year? Concert lineup this year includes Matthew West, a great contemporary Christian artist, mm -hmm. Grand Funk Railroad, Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, Ooh. Chris Lane, and the Bobby Rodriguez Orchestra on Senior Day. The fair admission includes so much. Right. Yes, you're going to pay more for food, and yes, you're going to pay for ride tickets. But if you don't want to do any of those things, you can see the racing pigs, which is our, a, a long time tradition at the <laughs> Sweet, fair. Sweet, that we is have, the funniest uh, thing I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. <laughs> we have an ice show. It's a 30 minute show, three or four times a day. It's themed differently every year. Wow. It's colorful, the music is great. The artistry of the skaters is unbelievable. Then we've got Lady Houdini, Ooh. who is an escape artist and does the famous water tank escape. That's a thrilling show, it really is. And then we mentioned the Peking Acrobats of China will right. be there. We've got one of the greatest hypnotists that appears around the country, direct from Las Vegas, Tizen, who has been at our fair on a number of occasions. He is popular, his shows are standing room only. They are. And I would just urge everyone out there to make sure they see a show of Tizen. If you purchase your tickets, you can do so in advance or you can do so right at the gate. But also you've got the Tuesdays. Fat Tuesday still. Fat Tuesday is something that we did last year and we are bringing that back this year. Two dollar Tuesday. So on Tuesdays, both Tuesdays of the fair, your admission is two dollars, every ride is two dollars, and every food vendor is selling something for two dollars. That's incredible. And it turned our second Tuesday into a Saturday crowd. It was. It was huge. And if you are a food person, this is your chance to eat your way around the fairgrounds at bargain prices. Oh, totally. We're going to have to try that out. So I want all of you to join me on a Tuesday or any day of the week. We've got 17 days of parades. We've got all these great acts. And if you want to find out who's performing on what day and what parade is coming by, they should just go to SouthFloridaFair.com, right? That's it. Folks, go to the website. They can find all the information right there. All right. We're going to have a little bit more in just a few minutes, so don't touch the dial. I'm just south of Boca Raton in Deerfield Beach at an oceanfront restaurant that draws crowds from all over South Florida because of their amazing food and, of course, the view. Welcome to JB's on the Beach. Open for lunch, dinner, right off the beach cocktails and weekend brunch, this place is a true gem. Chef Eric Lubin puts his spin on seafood, Mediterranean and Caribbean influenced dishes that do not disappoint, like their seafood paella, loaded with shrimp, scallops, mussels, clams, calamari and chorizo, served over saffron infused orzo and rice. Or try their dynamite scallops as an appetizer or entree. And on the weekends, you can enjoy all your brunch favorites like lobster benedict. Joining me is Chef Eric, who I just found out is a huge Food Lady yes. fan. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And he knows that my favorite food group is lobster, and you didn't disappoint. Well, I had to bring out the famous Janet's lobster and shrimp salad for you. Beautiful. Now, before I try it, is Janet the J in the JB? She's one of the J's. You have the whole Boyle family. You have Jack, you have Janet, you have John, Jackie, Jake, Jagger. Oh, my goodness. Yes. So, like, the tradition will continue. Yes, it will. We've got a whole yes, new generation of J's that are continue the J and the JB's. That's right. Oh man, this is so wonderful. I'm gonna try this, guys, but really, you have to come down here. It doesn't get any better than this. JB's on the beach. Enjoy the total oceanfront experience at JB's on the beach. Is your business one of the area's finest in food, dining, entertainment, events, or hospitality? Would your business benefit from being featured up close and personal every week on broadcast TV? Then you need to be a part of the Food Lady TV show. Log on to our website at pamthefoodlady.com and discover the many ways you can star on our program. Or give us a call today at 561-585-8668. 
The Food Lady. Local TV never tasted this good. Start your meal with an exotic cocktail, like a lychee mojito, maybe a cido margarita, a geisha or mango martini, and the blue zen. And of course, Saito's Full Liquor Bar has all your favorites, plus a wide selection of exquisite wines, Japanese beers, and sakis. The next bar to hit is the Sushi Bar. And Sushi Chef V is an absolute artist. Check this out. This is their signature restaurant roll, the Saito's Roll. Wow. I love this one, Pam. You also don't want to miss Saito's cooked and raw specialty rolls, like their signature City Place roll, featuring spicy tuna, pineapple, and avocado. Saito's take on a lobster roll is like nothing you've ever had before. The lobster fantasy roll has an entire crispy lobster tail, avocado, cucumber, and spicy mayo inside out with masago, lettuce, and sesame seeds. Oh, you are going to dream about this one. And if you like to share, order up a Saito Sushi and Sashimi Boat for two, three, four, or more. Now it's time to talk hibachi. Order any of Saito's fresh seafood and meat combinations from steak and lobster to shrimp, chicken, scallops, and more, and get ready for a show. Whoa! <laughs> Saito's Japanese Steakhouse Hibachi and Sushi, now with six locations to choose from. Saito City Place, Boynton Beach, Boca Raton, Wellington, Palm Beach Gardens, and Coconut Creek. Enjoy dinner and a show today. Thank you so much for watching our great show about all things South Florida Fair. Thank you, of course, to all the great restaurants featured on today's program, to our amazing chefs, to our help in the kitchen, and of course, Rick Ben Littell, president of the South Florida Fair. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you, Pam. I'm so excited to be at the fair. 17 days. Make sure you go to SouthFloridaFair.com, find out what musical acts are gonna be performing, find out what shows are happening, Find out what food's available this year. Get your beads on. Now, Bunny, you've added yet another great night to uh, here. Uh, uh, Chef Lauren, how are you? Hey, how are you? Nice to see you. Sure. I stepped on his foot, sorry. Now, Bunny, you've, I, can't, I don't know, I can't get past. Now, I know a lot of you are used to. I'm going to season right on the cutting board. That's fun. No! Not that! <laughs> it really comes. Plus, it's. Is that ringing? That's my, my stupid phone. I don't want to be on the end. Come on, yes you can. <laughs> that just made it.